Welcome back to another episode of our Brewery Farm Life. Come on! My calculation said that we should be lambing in April, but apparently, and I'm very new to this, so I'm learning. Um, apparently, we're going to start lambing now. We came out Sunday to discover some little lammies on the ground. <laughs> well, okay, here we go. <laughs> it was a scary moment for me because I wasn't ready. But we got through it. <laughs> I did have a little extra help. I have a very good support system. So thank goodness for Sandy, she showed up and uh, she gave me a huge hand with uh, a different bottle from what I was using because I could not get them on the bottle. They got the colostrum that they needed into them. Uh, I fed through the night and they were fine. And now they figured out mom and everything is great. So uh, yeah, first lambs born, twin boys, and uh, it's been a blast. So I guess now we start. Fun times. I promise next year I'll be a little bit more prepared. <laughs> so here we go. It's official. First lambs born well, well, at River well. Road. <laughs> Just taking my donkey for a walk. Nosy Parker couldn't handle that I was out here with Serenity and not her. That's straw. Okay, catch a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you okay? I don't want you. You're not helping. You're okay. Hey, it's okay. Got it. Oh, got it. <laughs> this is why David shouldn't have a 3D printer. What is it? Like, how's it on? <laughs> There are Tyrannosaurus Rex arms on a chicken. Is it a terror chicken? <laughs> what? It's a terror. It's a what? <laughs> are you sharing fishy crackers? Mm hmm. Are you that one? I'm just gonna sneak in and see how the canning is going. there which is good I love to see that everyone's smiling on canning day because you know you never know sometimes sometimes things can go wrong and no matter what you do you just have those days uh, but it looks good everything's working perfect so <laughs> they're they're hard at it and it won't take them long they'll zip through those cans in no time at all they're canning blonde right now um, we have a new beer and I'm hoping they're canning that as well, but I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to bug them right now. Um, called Trahopical Feelings. <laughs> it's a session IPA. Um, it's 3.8% alcohol and it's so tasty. It's got some like mango citrusy flavor to it. So hopefully you guys can get your hands on some of that here shortly. 
and I think it's going to become a staple. It's a nice, light, easy drinking IPA. So I don't know which way is better. Maybe this way? Nope. <laughs> Maybe that's better. So earlier, or I guess it was later last week, I think it was Friday, I came out to do my normal check on the bees. And unfortunately, what I saw was kind of disturbing. There was a number, like hundreds of dead bees around one of our smaller hives. So I was a little discouraged and I called Leanne and had her, she, well, she decided to come out and check. We opened up the hive and unfortunately they were all dead. There's no, there was no sign of mites or disease or anything like that. Unfortunately, these things happen and um, I need to learn that because I get pretty sad when animals, insects, whatever we're trying to raise and keep happy and healthy, don't make it. So it was a, it was a sad moment for me, I'm not going to lie. Um, the other hive, however, is doing really well. So Leanne's coming out later and uh, we're going to, we're going to, look into the other hive and make sure that uh, everyone's healthy and happy. So we'll see how things go this afternoon when Leanne comes out and uh, we'll go from there. I think it's it's so nice to have Leanne like these are this wouldn't happen without her so yeah we'll just see what happens and uh, we'll go from there. It's all a learning experience that's the biggest thing everything that we do is a, is a constant learning experience. All right. Okay, so explain to me what we just did. Okay, so we just did a really quick check because the weather's in our favor today. So it is March the 8th, I believe, and it's probably about 12 degrees. So it's perfect temperature to take a little peek. So we took the lid off, we gently took off the inner cover, and we looked for moisture. So there was no sign of any moisture, so we know that there's no mold. There's lots of bees inside. They still have frames of honey, but we did slide a little bit more baker's fondant in just in case we don't keep the warm weather for a bit. And we did discover a mouse nest, which we had discovered in the other hive last week, which unfortunately did die due to how small it was. So we removed as much of that as possible and popped the lid back on and wished them good luck. So everything looks good. We can tell from the front of the hive that They've had some cleansing flights because we can see the bee poop on the front of the hive. So we know that that's good because we want them to be able to get out and have those flights. And we like the size of the colony. So they look healthy, like they've wintered fairly well, but March can be the worst month for beekeeping because the weather is so unpredictable and they can run out of food sources, which is why we put a little bit more food in for them until we can start sugar feeding them, sugar water feeding them. But we really need those temperatures to stay above zero for that to really be effective. So I think everything looks well. They didn't seem too bothered with us being here. So they're happy and they even said hello. So it was nice. Good. <laughs> Everybody's good. So I'm happy. Yay. <laughs> so in case you're wondering, that's Leanne from Astral, Astral Apiaries, a very good friend of mine and uh, who we do our beehives with. So it's been amazing and um, I thank her because if it wasn't for her, we definitely wouldn't be able to do any of this. And that's how we get our honey brown and queen bee. Cheers, guys.